Good morning. Uh, the poet that I've chosen for this morning is a mid-19th century Irish poet, a Catherine Tynan. She was born in County Dublin in 1859 and she started her first poetry collection being published uh, in 1875. She was quite a prolific writer, she wrote more than 100 novels. She had 12 collections of short stories and reminiscences and 12 books of poetry. In her time, she met and became friendly with Gerard Manley Hopkins, and she became a major part of the Irish Dublin literary scene before she married and moved to England. She later came back to Ireland where her husband was a magistrate in County Mayo in Clare Morris from 1914 to 1919. She was a close associate of Dublin B. Yeats. Uh, he may have proposed to her when she shot him down in 1885, and she was later a correspondent of Francis Ledwich. She died in Wimbledon in 1931. And the poem I've chosen is called The Foggy Jew, which I think reflects her longing to be back in Ireland. A splendid place is London with golden store, for them that have the heart and hope and youth galore. But mournful are its streets to me, I tell you true, for I'm longing sore for Ireland in the foggy dew. The sun, he shines all day here, so fierce and fine, with never a wisp of mist at all to dim his shine. The sun, he shines all day here from skies of blue. He hides his face in Ireland in the foggy dew. The maids go out to milking in the pastures grey. The sky is green and golden at dawn of the day. And in deep drenched meadows the hay lies new and the corn is turning yellow in the foggy dew. Mavrone, if I might feel now the dew on my face and the wind from the mountains in that remembered place, I'd give the wealth of London if mine it were to do, and I'd travel home to Ireland in the foggy dew. <laughs>